Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and I have a chalk drawing to share with you today. But first I have to erase the old chalk drawing which is always difficult to do. And I'm using just a wet washcloth to clean it thoroughly because the chalks leave such a residue. This is the only way to get it really super clean for the next chalk drawing. For this chalk drawing, I am using the book called The Adventurous Life of Miles Standish by Cheryl Harness as inspiration. I used this book the last time we did our colonial unit, and this time we're going to be doing a Mayflower ship, a simpler version than I did last time. I'm also using my Sargent Art Square chalk pastels. I love these chalk pastels. They have a beautiful range of colors, and the colors are really rich and beautiful. So for this chalk drawing, I'm actually going to start with my white chalk. This doesn't have to be a fancy chalk. And you actually don't have to start this way, but I find that for me, doing a simple outline works best. So I'm going to do a white outline, which is going to end up getting either erased as I work through it with my fingers, or it's going to get erased in the sense that I'm going to be covering over it with my colored chalk pastels. So doing a ship is actually pretty easy considering that some of the other chalk drawings I've done have been a lot more complicated. But even doing a simple drawing is going to take you a long time if you're working on a large chalkboard the way I am. This chalkboard is four feet by six feet. It was originally a slate chalkboard on wheels. It was reversible. The back side of this chalkboard has a dry erase board. But a couple years ago, I removed the contraption that it was on and just hung it on the wall instead. Now we've had this chalkboard for several years and over the years the slate kind of lost its friction and it made it really difficult to do these large chalk drawings with my colored chalk. It still worked fairly well with just a white chalk but because we did so many chalk drawings I needed to find a solution and so I painted our chalkboard with chalkboard paint which was not recommended by the manufacturers but I felt like I had no other choice. Now it's worked really great ever since. The only thing that I need to work on is sanding it down a little bit. So I actually end up spending a lot of time working on the night sky because I just couldn't get the colors to stick right and to blend well. And if you look really closely, you can see my brush marks from when I painted the chalkboard. So the next time I do a chalk drawing, it's going to need a little bit of maintenance so that I can really get the colors to blend well. So I'm going to have to give a light sanding just to smooth down those ridges. There's a couple of different ways that you can do a chalk drawing and something that I ended up doing recently that I really liked was blending the colors once they were all on the board. It kind of gives it a nice kind of soft ethereal look. You don't really see any of the chalk marks and it just has a nice appearance but when I tried to do that with the night sky I ended up rubbing off most of the chalk. So while this chalk drawing the basics took about a half an hour I ended up messing around with it for a good 20 to 30 minutes not improving it all that much so for a drawing like this you can get it done in a pretty good amount of time but if you want all the additional details just know that those are going to take probably twice as long as the basic chalk drawing so at this point I'm just using my fingers just to smooth those colors together just to give it a more realistic look I've blended a couple of browns together for the sails and I thought that it would look nice just to kind of blend them and it does but when I start to do that with the rest of the chalk drawing it doesn't look so great now the water looks fantastic when I do this but when I do the night sky you can already see that most of it has rubbed off and it doesn't really look that great and I just want to make a note that the flags are actually not authentically correct so if you were looking for something that was more historically accurate you will have to look up what the flags were for the ship I did decide to do a couple of people on the boat and it ended up not looking super great so I only left about two or three people. I also decided that I wanted to write the Mayflower underneath in kind of a red yellow or red orange color and that looked horrible so I erased it and then drew over it with the blue and then added just some waves around the ship with which I thought looked nice. And then in keeping with the look of the book it had kind of a border around the whole edge and I thought I'd do that too but that didn't work out so I erased that. I did add a moon just to really signify that this was a night image and just to kind of give it that cozy kind of almost dangerous feel to this journey and I do really like the way that part turned out. 
If you want to see some of the other videos in our Colonial Times unit study, you can tap on the screen right now. You can also see the first Mayflower chalk drawing that I did that I'm really super pleased with. You can tap on the screen to see that one as well. If you want to see more pictures and projects for this unit study, you can find a link down in the description box below. It will take you to the blog post that accompanies this video. And don't forget that if you want to see what our homeschool looks like on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram at Pepper and Pine.